This is the world's first true outdoor projector. And this is a music video where this projector was pretty much the only light I used. If you haven't watched it yet, pause this video, open this link in a new tab and watch it. I'll be here waiting for you. All right. Now that we're all on the same page, let's talk about how I got these shots within about 24 hours all by myself and why this specific projector made that very, very easy. But first, I needed a spacesuit for the artist. I had already ordered this fancy silver suit, but it was still missing something. I had a very clear vision in my mind, or should I say on frame set. These visuals wouldn't nearly work as well without a proper astronaut helmet. So with our budget at minus 4579 for the suit and one day left until the shooting day, I dove deep into the dark universe of Amazon. And after some time, there it was. A children's astronaut helmet for 40 bucks. It arrived the next day and I had a few hours left to turn this into something that would look good on camera. So, add some aluminum tape, paint and gaffer, put on a little tube and burn yourself on the hot glue gun more often than you have subscribers. Please subscribe. And voila, there you have it. It looks like shit. But that's fine, because through the magic of careful framing and deliberate lighting, these different textures will look great. So when all arrived, we had this garage to work with. We put up some black molten, I filled the garage with haze and turned this puppy on. This is the new Nebula Mars 3 projector by Anchor and it has some very cool features like being water resistant, dust and impact proof as well as having an integrated Android TV OS and battery life of up to 5 hours. All this was great for getting these shots very quick and easy. For these cool effects I projected some space footage I found on Artlist. In fact, I use their music and sound effects in every single video I make. This video isn't sponsored by Artlist or anyone else, but if you use the affiliate link in the description, not only will you get 2 months for free, but you'll also support this channel and allow me to spend a bit more on the next music video. I filmed the whole video on my red Komodo and the Sigma Art 18-35 with a black mist filter to make these reflections in the suit shine. When we watched back the footage we were super happy with how it looked. But once again, something was missing. The whole video had no story. And what makes a great story? Exactly. Random 4x3 black and white shots. It also just happens to make the suit look a bit more fancy. So we got some shots on a field at a car park and revisited that garage we filmed in earlier to whip out our secret weapon once more. I blasted the footage we got earlier on the garage doors and was very impressed of the result. At that size, you do start to notice the limitations of Full HD, but damn, these 1000 Ansa lumens are bright. With these new shots, it was just a matter of deciding what shots to get rid of and slapping on Dehancer's film emulation to make it look truly out of this world. If you like this kind of video, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see more of Morty films, just click on screen right now.